on me personally, like I embrace it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just like we're doing now. Like some people don't want to talk about jail. They be like, you know what? I don't even want to. I don't even want to think about it all. I don't even want to remember that. Let's talk about something I'm doing now. But um, me, that's that's one of my scars. You know what I'm saying? And I, I embrace it so much because. I want to remember not to go back. Right. Some people forget, like and they slip, and you slip, and and you know, even though sometimes we remember and we slip, but it's just like, do I really want to go there? Do I do I really want to do this? And in, in your head, just being in jail, nigga, you start calculating time in your head. Like, I, right, if I get this nigga a leg shot, all right, that's a mandatory this, that, and the third. But if I do this. Uh, that's a little, you know what I'm saying? So, me personally, I embrace it. I embrace everything that comes my way. And I always beat it. Like, I always beat it. I, I don't know what it is. God had a plan for me or what. But I never got the bad end of the stick. Like, it's always... I'm in a fight or I'm in a shootout and somebody else get hit next to me, but they was intended for me to get shot. Um, it's certain shit that I be beefing with niggas and then they shoot somebody else and now they ain't fucking doing whatever the case may be. It just be like, God got me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not strong on religion. But somebody up there got me. Some something is going on because I feel like I I don't even post. I wasn't even supposed to make it into this life yeah. in the industry. You know what I'm saying? I'm I was supposed to be like one of them niggas. Like, yo, he back there again? Cause that's what my friends did. All my friends is just repetitive. Right. Most of my friends is doing like crazy time, and they get out for a week, and they, they, they get locked back up again, right. and that's what it's just a cycle. And I kind of broke that cycle for all my friends. They just rooting for me. And that's just from embracing it. Because some people come home and still think they the man. Yeah. I, I caught on quick. Like, hold on. Shit different. What the fuck is going on here? You know, I asked my man, I'm like, yo, yo, what's up with the jokes? Like, I need a lick. And he like, a lick? Looking at me like I had a disease, a lick. We don't do that no more. Yeah. I caught on quick. Ain't nobody trying to go to jail. Okay, cool. I thought it was come home, put that pain in again, and if you get caught, you get caught because you're trying to feed your family or you're trying to provide for your family. But um, again, that's how I embrace it. I just like, nigga, it is what it is. I'm who I am, and I ain't going to change for nobody. And I learned how to make other people see the good in your scars. Like, relationship-wise. When you go to jail, everybody leave you. Your mother, your father, your sisters, your brothers, your girls, your friends. And now it's certain people that is free and they girl leave them. I'll be like, nigga, that shit ain't nothing. Nigga. You be all right. You free, you can get another one. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody call me from jail and I feel that same pain. Like, yo, man, ain't nobody doing shit for me. I'll be like, nigga. <laughs> Embrace that shit, nigga. Go in there. You better do something, nigga. Bring some drugs in, nigga. You still got shorty. She with it. You you got to sacrifice. And again, embrace your scars. Roll with the punches. And and sooner than later, you know, you just gonna, you're just going to be a champ. Yeah. So another question I always think about, too, is, you know, you've got children. Mm. You know, so I know that kind of play a role in the way you see life. Um, how does, how does, how does that you know, kind of shape uh, this project? Um, it's crazy because, like, I think I'm the worst father. And um, I think that is because of jail and because of my father, even my mother. You know what I'm saying? It's like going in and out of jail, you really don't get that that family love. It's like you're an outcast now. You got some hood mothers and some hood dads that ride with their kids too, but some people get tired of it. One time, cool. 
we fucked up two times, all right, yeah. Third time, it's like, listen, we ain't got no bail money. Like, you, you want to listen this time? Yeah, I'm going to listen, man, just bail me out. Back in jail, and they kind of give up on you. So I think that's what my, my mother and my father did. They just kind of gave up on me. And it fucks me up now because I don't care about no birthdays. I don't care about no holidays. I don't care about anybody else's birthday. It's just like, it's your birthday, nigga. Like, you know, like when you're in jail, yo, yo, it's your birthday today, nigga? Yeah, hell yeah, that shit was yesterday. But yeah, you already, like, ain't tell nobody. The fuck. And that's, that's how I move now, and, it, and it, it hurts me because that's how I move with my kids. I'm just so, yo, what up? What's going on? What you doing? You did your homework? All right. All right, it's your birthday. You want something? Where I could put more effort into it, like throwing big, crazy parties and just bringing their friends around. But I'm so cold when it comes to that. It's just like, whatever. And it's a gift and a curse because, like, my daughter is strong now. Like, my daughter be moving like me. Like, nah, I'm good, Dad. I just need this. You know what I'm saying? I could love somebody. I just posted a caption today. I said, nigga, I don't matter how much I love you. Undeniably, I could love you. I could wish to the ground you walk on. If I ain't fucking with you, I'll never speak to you again. And still love you. So, jail just kind of like, jail, family members, all that shit just kind of fucked me up, man. You know, it's a gift and a curse. So one thing that we do at Concreates, man, when we have our team meetings, we do something called strengths and opportunities. So mm-hmm. instead of calling it weaknesses, we, we think about that as like opportunities to, to grow or to learn from, you know, whatever. I just feel like that moment that, that what you just shared with me is like an opportunity to kind of kind of grow, right? How do you mm-hmm. begin to like have a better relationship with people? Mm-hmm. In the end, like, like you always gonna be you, you gonna always, you know, but I look at it from a perspective like this ain't for them. Mm-hmm. Like it's for you. You know what I'm saying? To be, you know. You, the, the crazy thing is, my thing is, with like I said, my, my son's mother or anybody that can't relate, they'll never get it. So it's like, you don't give a fuck about me, I don't give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, a lot of people can't relate. So when you do get somebody that relates, it's just dope. It's like, you get it. You understand why I don't want to speak to her no more. Or you understand why I feel this way. And it's like 10% of people that I run across that can really understand. And it's, I don't want to say it's like you being a coward or, or you're not handling your responsibility, but it's like, like it's me against the world. When I say it's me against the world, it's me against the world. I don't give a fuck about nobody because I've been left for dead. All that. I people that I love you, yeah, it's cool, nigga. And don't come and see you never. Right. You know, in the song, I said it. I said it. I'm an hour away and get a visit yet. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's how I roll with things now. It, it might be fucked up, but shit, it got me this far. Right. If I start caring about other people, anybody other than me, who's going to feed me? I, I'm I'm in this shit by myself. If I don't make it, nigga, I'm doomed. I ain't got nobody to call. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I move. But it, it might be fucked up, but shit, it keep <laughs> me above water. It keep you alive, right? Yeah. It's an instinct. So, you know, behind these scars, and I'm just interested to kind of like, uh, you know, kind of look at some of these scars and, and mm. kind of think about what's the story behind it, right? Mm-hmm. I got this scar on my lip. I probably had it since I'm about four. Mm-hmm. And everybody swear like I, it was from a rumble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, they think I was rumbling, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But really, like, I was just a badass kid. It mm-hmm. just, you know, fell on my face and mm-hmm. shit, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I, I noticed you got a scar right here on your, on your eyebrow. Like, yeah. like, what happened right there? Um, This right here was in jail. I remember uh, it was like my birthday is October 27th. This happened like October 26th, probably like 2008. Like right before I went up north, I was on a visit with my baby moms. (laughs) 
I was trying to I was trying to get some action. So the officer was hating on me and shit. Like, ah, I seen you pull up your pants, shit like that. I'm like, man, fuck you. Da da da. Arguing with the officer, whatever the case may be. And um, when I went back to my cell, I was asleep, just chilling. And they was like, yo, uh, everybody lock in. You know, again, I, 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 I controlled the situation. So when I heard that, I'm like, lock in for what? When niggas locking in? So now you, 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 you paying attention. And then um, I saw the squad come in. Oh, the yeah, the black. Yeah, 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 the man in black, you know, with the shield and shit. Yeah. So they're like, yo, senior, pack up. I'm like, pack up for what? Oh, you want to be disrespectful to officers, right? Da, 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 da. I'm like, pack up for what? Where, where I'm going? And I tell me where I'm going, so I ain't want to leave. And I remember they just said, so you're not going to leave? They just rushed in my cell. I was put, put like two swings in, pop, pop. They beat my ass. On a day before my birthday, whooped me out. So I was in the hole in Rikers Island, SHU. For my birthday, my whole shit busted, my lip busted, my body hurt. Yeah. yeah, that's how I got there. How are you analyzing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I fucked up. Like, you know, what's what's the what's the emotion they get? Um, I don't think I was really like emotional when it came to like fighting officers and shit like that. I just was like, yeah, they know I ain't playing. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, it is what it is. Just, they know they ain't just gonna move me. Like, I'm a beast. Like, it was always, it was cool to do that because, you know, you had other homies in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in the house with you, housing unit, and, and they like, yo, damn, cats went out there with the police. Like, like, you wanted to do shit like that, to show niggas, like, this is what you do. When they violate, you put that pain in. But again, at the end, you just, you just weather the storm, you just lay back, you know what I'm saying? Deny medical. Cause I did. And then after a while, police start respecting you. Once they see you ain't go to the medical unit and be like, yeah, police hit me upside my head. They did this. I would, I would like to file a grievance. Yeah. Once they see you ain't even going to tell on them, they're like, all right, it's unofficial. Next house you go to, they, don't go, they ain't going to play with you. Or they might. So it's just tricky. You might have to keep on doing it until... Motherfuckers just be like, just leave him alone, man. Leave him alone because you know this shit gonna go up. The whole jail line to get shut down. 